What is up guys? This is the Exalt Project Harness. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. So the first thing that I noticed about these project harnesses is the carbon fiber fabric that Exalt uses on all of their products. You can find that fabric on their gun case, like it is here, on like the mask case, tank cases, all of the Exalt cases are coming in that carbon fiber fabric, just like the new harness. And what's cool about that fabric is it's kind of water repellent, water resistant, something like that. So you can wipe it off really easy, water beads off it, and it's just kind of easier to clean up hits and stuff like that. So I like that fabric and it's really good on a pack because it's so easy to clean up. So the Project Harness is kind of just typical paintball pack, right? It's coming in a three plus six and a four plus seven. That three pack you can get for $49.95. And then the four plus seven is 54. 95. It's only a $5 difference, but you can carry you know, a little bit of extra rain balls in there. So if you're not super familiar with packs, right, like that three plus six, you're probably asking, what's that six thing, right? You can see those three main pod holders that are like reinforced, makes them easy to put pods in. But then there's that six, right? There's those extra little elastic loops that are on the outside of the harness and then in between those pods. Those you can just shove an extra pod into. You can find them on all packs. But one of the things that I like, one of the things that Exalt did that is a little bit more unique, they've added these little elastic loops to kind of keep those extra pod sleeves more secure when you're not using them. I don't personally care about this. It's not really bugging me when they're flopping around, but working at the paintball store forever, there are a lot of people who really don't like those flapping around. So if you're one of those people, uh, the Exalt Project Harness will keep those extra pod sleeves nice and tidy. And when you're taking those pods out, the straps on the thing are very durable. They're made from like that seat belt webbing material. So there's no question the strap will last forever. And the little pull tabs on the top are kind of like double-sided and super thick. So they're just kind of easier to grab. One of the main things that Exalt tried to do with the Project Harness was make it as stable and secure on your body as possible. And they've kind of done that in various ways, right? So one of the things that I don't like about some harnesses out there is that they use like a back padding or like a lumbar support pad area that's huge and it just kind of makes the pack sit further off your back and that's just a little more wobbly right with the exalt project harness that back pad is really thin so i like that i'm a fan of that it makes the pack way more secure on your body it might not have that big pillowy cushy area but i don't know it's not like the packs are all super uncomfortable and you got to have lots of padding on them so that project harness having that streamlined like smaller back padding just makes the pack model a little bit more secure. Stumbled a little bit there. And the material on that pad is definitely grippy as well. It's kind of like a, I don't know, rubbery material. So when it's like touch on your jersey or your pants, it's gonna be a little bit more secure. And then all on the inside of that belt is gonna be more rubbery, like sticky print. It's kind of the print you see on like wide receiver, like gloves, it's super sticky rubbery, super sticky rubber. Exalt have also made the belt shorter on the Project Harness, and that just makes the thing easier to tighten down. Most of the guys who are having these belts, like, or I should say harnesses, like shift around a lot are skinnier guys. And it's because the belts on some of the packs are just too long, so it's hard to make tight. So on the Project, it's a little easier to make tight for your skinnier guys. I'd say, like, it fits me perfect, but I wear like a 32, 34-ish waist. If you're at like 38, I think you'd be pushing it without the belt extenders. But Exalt are also offering two belt extenders, a 12-inch and a 24-inch. To make the belt just longer, they're 20 bucks. So quick break, uh, really fast. I noticed that I said $20 editing this. They're definitely not $20. They start at $11.95. So that's quite a bit less than 20 bucks. Uh, they're really 12. Uh, now, yeah, back to the video. More belt stuff. You guys hear me, like, if you've watched a lot of these videos or like pack videos, you hear me complain about this all the time. But uh, in this case, not a complaint. This is like a praise to Exalt. They've added a pocket. I love these freaking pockets in between these belts. It's a great place to put an ID, some money, or an Allen wrench. Mainly because my pants don't have pockets. Oh, they have pockets, they don't have zippers. So I put an Allen wrench or money in there and it just falls out when I'm playing. So having that pocket, a secure place to put stuff uh, is great. You know, like I'm not gonna put my pack down and lose my whole pack but I very well could lose an Allen wrench. So having, you know, a secure place to not lose stuff, I love it. So that's my like overview of the Exalt Project Harness. And much like all the Exalt stuff, it's just good, right? I mean, it's good quality. Uh, it's got cool little features, uh, priced well, uh, and it looks cool. I'm a fan of that carbon stuff. I wanna see a lime one though, a lime green one like my gun case back there, but we'll see what happens. 
Thank you Exalt for sponsoring this video. They're the whole reason you guys are watching this. Uh, so thank you guys very much. Uh, ExaltPaintball.com, buy your friggin' project harness and maybe a gun case like that one right there.